Hello and welcome to my TubeBuddy SEO Studio video where I'm going to be going over the SEO score, title, description, tags, and everything that you can utilize to help improve your chances of ranking higher and of course getting more clicks. If you'd like to follow along or if you'd just like to test out TubeBuddy, I will leave my link down below in the description. They do come with a free plan so feel free to check them out and see how much you like them in terms of helping you grow your YouTube channel. So here we are in the dashboard. I just went to the post section so you can't see all my private eye stuff of course so I'm going to click on the TubeBuddy little uh, icon right here. Once you do that, you want to go to SEO Studio right here. And of course, this is what we're going to do. This is going to be probably best for once you realize you have a keyword and it's going to help you out in terms of creating your title, description, give you a score just to know that you're on the right track. So I have a keyword already. I'm just going to put in here. And we have TubeBuddy keyword. Okay. So there's a lot of related keywords to that. So I'm going to go kind of broad. But anyway, let's click on start. And here we are. So Pretty basic stuff. What it's going to do is show you how you can improve it. So it says include your target keyword in the title. That's done. Uh, include exact match of your target keyword somewhere in your title. That means all the words in your target keyword in the same order. Usually I like front loading it. So exactly how it is now. That's what I mean. Putting it in the front. Include 80% of your target keyword in the title, which is pretty much the same as having all of it. Include your target keyword in the first 60 characters of the title. That's what I mean by front loading. It also says include your target keyword naturally in the title, which let's see, your title should include your target keyword in a way that sounds natural, not forced in order to make it human readable and compelling. So that just means we're going to have to add more, you know, to this. Okay. Include partial matches of your target keyword in the description. So how else can we do our title? Let's go at it. So keyword research, how to find, let's see, easy to rank keywords, something like that. Okay, so you'll notice we now have the other keyword right there. And just like that, all that's going to be green aside from include partial matches of your target keyword in the description, which obviously, you know, we're going to be right here. So Allow me to quickly write a description. It doesn't need to be too long. You'll notice if I delete that, it gets rid of this. Include your target keyword in the first 200 characters of the description. So, so let's continue on. I'm going to write a very quick description for you. All right. So before I read that, what I wrote very quickly, you'll notice it's going to have a two buddy SEO score, uh, whether it's 95 or hundred, not a big deal. As long as you're getting most of these down, like there's barely a difference between adding that extra 5%. These are going to be the most important aspects when it comes to, you know, getting a boost in ranking. So we're talking about having our main keyword first, other variations of the keyword, making sure it's a title that's readable, flows nicely, uh, having our main keyword in the first 200 characters, uh, having more of it, you know, partial descriptions and talking about it. So let me read this. Thanks for checking out my TubeBuddy keyword research video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize their keyword research tool so that you can get plenty of great ideas for your next YouTube video. If you have any other questions related to TubeBuddy and doing research, feel free to leave a comment down below. So keep that in mind. You can always give like a call to action with extra keywords in it as you'll notice right there. So if you have any questions related to this keyword you're talking about, that's an extra great way to kind of add a little bit more in there. So very simple stuff. I know not everyone is going to know this, but uh, it's good because this highlights pretty much the basics of what you need in order to help with ranking. And I feel like the basics are what a lot of people seem to forget. They think you need something super crazy, super different. I can assure you I've been doing YouTube for like over a decade now, and I've always used these similar uh, foundations of what they're recommending. So this is really good. I like that. Okay. Next is going to be tags. Ironically enough, tags apparently have gotten less of an importance. I feel the same thing has happened to, let's say, uh, tags in, you know, articles and blogs. Uh, for YouTube, I still use them. You know, first and foremost, it doesn't take very long to add them in. So I don't see it as that big of a deal. Was it take 20 seconds, 30 seconds or so on? But here's how we can improve our score. So as we do this, so probably move up. So include your exact target keyword as the first tag. We got it. It's already there. Good to go. Include partial matches of your target keyword and include more relevant tags. So we have TubeBuddy keyword research. We have TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. You know, if we're going to do Explorer, we'd probably want to add that into our title and description as well. Let's see. So if you have any questions related to TubeBuddy, let's just do Keyword Explorer. There we go. And doing research. So that's a great way to add that in. Let's see. Let's let this load a little bit more. Uh, research. We could do mobile. Sure, that sounds good. Explorer. Uh, let's score Keyword Tool not working. We don't really need uh, YouTube keyword research. Yep. That's a good one. This is a good one. And let's see, just do these. So include more relevant tags. 
I think we got some pretty good ones, but let's just do a couple more. I think that'll do. So there we go. So 100%. That's how many tags it recommends. Like I said, I don't know. Even YouTube says like they're not as big of a deal as they used to be, but it doesn't hurt to put it there. So I mean, that's going to be the 100 aspects. So that's going to be the main aspects of it. We have our title and description, as we see title description, and it gives you more info about why you should be doing that. We have our SEO score. Obviously, the higher, the better. It's not going to be very difficult to get 100. So even if you get like 95%, don't worry about it. You might have few too little tags, which don't have a huge Huge emphasis, so not the biggest um, worry in the world. So that looks good. We have our tags where we've created a bunch. We have our main one and we have related ones. Not every keyword is going to have tons of related tags, so keep that in mind. And this is going to be the thumbnail section. Not a whole lot to say here, but what it does is kind of show you how your title would show up in the search engine, of course, YouTube, and of course, what other thumbnails look like. So if you'll notice this, if you really want to stick out, it looks like this one's red and blue, but this one under it's going to be red, red and blue, red. So we have a lot of red and red and blue. And that's a good way to kind of say like, well, if I created a thumbnail that was just, you know, what's the opposite of that? You know, maybe let's see, it's, it's tough to say because it's red and red and blue. But if you made something different that really stood out, hey, look, there's me. Uh, like this kind of stands out just because it's different. There's a lot of white, but obviously that's going to be on you. You might be like me where you create a similar thumbnail and just replicate it multiple times, or you might be really uh, meticulous about creating the perfect thumbnail for every single video. That's going to be up to you. You can always test that out first. And of course, you could always split test it later. So that's something. So this is a nice little section that talks about and gives you some tips. And last but not least is going to be applying to video. This is just going to be for a future video. So I don't need to do this at the time. But just an example when it comes to the TubeBuddy SEO Studio, how it works, their TubeBuddy SEO score, as well utilizing their title and description, and of course, tags. Hope you got some value out of this. Like I said, if you want to try out TubeBuddy, I will have my link down below where you can check them out for free. Thank you so much for watching. My name is James and I'll see you in my next video.